friends, we are gonna do a huge stock pot full of potato soup today. I got this 10 pound bag of potatoes from Aldi. I think it was, it was either $1.49 for 10 pounds or $1.59. I'll put my grocery haul up in a card for you if you wanna see the exact 10, price, 10 cent price difference. But anyway, first thing I'm gonna do is I get all my potatoes washed off in the sink. So the potatoes have been washed and now I am covering the potatoes in water in this large stock pot. All right, so now I just put my big stock pot on the stove. What I'm gonna do now is we are bringing the, we're gonna bring the potatoes to a boil. And then because we're in the middle of our busy homeschool day, I'm just gonna turn them off and let them sit for a little bit whenever I'm able to get back to them. And that is what is nice about potato soup is it's very forgiving. So there's gonna be time gaps in here. When I can get back to them, I'm gonna drain the potatoes and then the skins are gonna peel right off. And I just don't have time to peel potatoes. I don't know about you. So the skins will slip right off for me then. And then we'll add the potato chunks back in here with some milk and some butter and some salt and pepper and other goodies and work on our potato soup in the stock pot. So these potatoes have been done for quite a while. The kids are doing a whole bunch of craft and print off papers with a, a Christmas theme around here right now. And here's how our potatoes turned out. You can see a lot of the skin is already peeling off. So I'm going to drain these. The skin is gonna slip off quickly and then we're gonna get the potatoes back in this pot. So these skins, this is why I like to do it this way. These skins just come right off just without a problem. And these are not really hot right now because they have sat in the water for a good chunk of this afternoon while we did school. And I'll, I'm gonna put my camera down and peel this and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So here is our nice peeled potato and it's going in the pot. So here is what everything looks like peeled. And then if you want, you can use a hand mixer. Um, I also have a new KitchenAid mixer I could use. I am just gonna use though a regular old fashioned potato masher. And I'm just gonna mash some of these up quickly here. I've taken a moment here and I've mixed these up with an old fashioned potato masher. I've got, just turned my stove on low and now I'm gonna add milk. For our spices, we have my Old Faithful onion powder, garlic powder, also garlic salt, and then pepper. And I'm gonna use a tablespoon of each of these in our stock pot full of potato soup. Here is a tablespoon of garlic powder. Here's a tablespoon of our onion powder. I'm also adding in a tablespoon of parsley because I like the little green flakes in the potato soup. A tablespoon of garlic salt and a tablespoon of pepper because I like pepper. You may not, so you can cut that in half. And also I'm adding in a cup of margarine. You can use regular old butter. Again, go with what you have on hand. I think it just makes it nice and creamy and buttery to go along with the milk and the potatoes. This is on medium heat. I'm going to let it simmer and stir it often for about 15 minutes and then our soup should be good to go. So this is how our soup is turning out. It smells fantastic in this kitchen. I'm gonna put some in a bowl to show you. So this is how it has turned out. And, and in your family, you can add more garlic or onion powder. You could add more salt and pepper. If I would have had it on hand, I also would have chopped up some celery finely and I would have cooked that with the potatoes earlier but it's still gonna be great, and we're gonna have bowls of it now, and then we're gonna go all chill out and watch the BFG movie. So if you would like a free copy of this recipe, just head on over to largefamilytable.com, and I'll see you next time, friends, with another brand new video. Bye-bye.